He doesn't look like he's got clothes on, but I'm sure he has. I hope he has. Do you think he has? I don't think he has. Oh, <laughs> Oh, my God. On today's ride, you're joining us uh, 43 miles in. I didn't bother recording the first 43 miles because you've seen it all before. But I also say we because look who's back. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so we have, we have Wendy back. Where I've have you been? I've been in France for the last four weeks in the Lotte Garonne, getting right. very, very hot. And did you do much riding? No, I had a little bike issue so I was on my supermarket special which is good fun because it makes you work hard <laughs> so it's nice to be back on a decent bike yes Wendy has a new gravel bike but she found the tire flat this morning and uh, needs a bit of a, a tweak on the indexing so she's left it behind she's on her existing live now we're on a route today that I've not been on before and I don't think Wendy's been on before nope. Uh, we're actually in Sherwood Forest, so Robin Hood country. Yay! You know a song about that, don't you, Wendy? Embarrassingly, yes. No, I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> She's not going to sing it again. She, she was just singing. Hopefully I've caught it and I'll play it for you. <laughs> Embarrass her. Through the glen, Robin Hood, behold with his band of men, he steals from the rich, he gives to the poor. Robin Hood, Robin Hood. <laughs> smells beautiful. Doesn't it? Yeah, fresh. Oh, yeah. Big old tree. Interesting route. Oh. Yeah, shame about the fly tipping. So that's a bit of a scourge in the UK at the moment. Certainly the past few years we've had problems with fly tipping and it's really something that uh, local councils need to get a hold of. I'd be interested to know if our subscribers in other countries have the same problem. Slow it down a bit. What was happening back there, Wendy? <laughs> I thought your brakes had failed. I decided just to go for it. I must be getting tired, I didn't want to pedal. <laughs> and then I got to the stage where it's going so fast, I think, well, if I put my brakes on... <gasps> he doesn't look like he's got clothes on, but I'm sure he has. I hope he has. Do you think he has? I don't think he has. Oh, <laughs> Oh, my God. Afternoon. Lovely day for it. Hello. Oh, well, at least there's somewhere to park my bike if I get stuck. I bet you had a peek back, didn't you? I didn't dare. <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? I'm a bit embarrassed. Yeah. The road was closed back there, so we've taken a diversion that we don't really know where we're going. It's probably in a nudist colony. <gasps> I think we got another one. Oh my god. Do we know which way we're going? No, I don't. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the answer to the naturism. There is, uh, well, naturists are allowed. They may infrequently use some of the quieter areas of this RSPB reserve. Well, we've seen two, so I, I don't know if it's infrequent or not, but 
There's the answer. Carrying a cover up of some kind for use when appropriate. Yeah. Not undressing in car parks. <laughs> We're actually lost in Sherwood Forest. <laughs> the road was lost. The road was closed. <laughs> that we wanted. The sat-nav keeps pointing back to the way we went, so we think we'll go back round in another circle again. Oh, right. um, no idea. <laughs> We've come to a fork in the road. Oh, this track's everywhere. Yeah, no, maybe that one. Is no it? wonder the Sheriff of Nottingham couldn't find Robin Hood. Yeah, if it's tarmac -y, I'd stick to it. Yep, yeah, Garmin's picked us up again, so it looks like we're back on Phew. route. We're out of the forest, well, we're out of one <laughs> forest and into another, but uh, we're all okay. At least we haven't seen any more bare bottoms. It's all happening today. There's a barley field on fire ahead of us, so the firemen are on the way to put it out. At least if we stick with them, we should be okay. Smoke's getting quite thick here. We're not going to get in their way, but you can see the fire is pretty much uh, taken hold there. Got some firemen already over there. And they're going to go for the old fashioned beat it, beat it out. Luckily the wind's blowing in the other direction so we're not getting smoked. It just shows how dry it's been. Yeah, luckily this barn is metal, otherwise I think this would have gone up. You can see through there the winding gear for the old colliery. We were speaking to some locals and they said it is disused. We thought it was probably a museum, but it's not. Uh, and I think they've had a local referendum on whether to tear these down or not. But I think it was a divided opinion 50-50, so they're still standing. I think they look quite magnificent.
we're, well, I'm 80 miles in. What are you? You're, you're in 118 metric. 118 kilometres. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, for me, it looks like being another 100 mile day. It's got to be, mm. got to be at least 20 miles home. And uh, we've got, well, we've got one fairly significant hill. And I've got two. You've got two. Two, <laughs> unless I can find a way around it. So, uh, but it's been a good day. We've we've oh, had a good it's been day. Amazing. Uh, Some new tracks which have been fantastic. Yeah. I mean, we've we've spent most of the day on forest trails, which is amazing. The last one was a bit boring, wasn't it? Because it, it went, was. Yeah, it, it went was on, and on and on. on yeah. um, we were getting yeah. a bit hungry. We stopped in uh, Southall for some, as they say around here, scran. Oh, and, needed uh, it. I was really yeah, we needed it. on rock bottom. So, yeah. But Wendy, you've not ridden much lately, <laughs> so Haven't. it's been a baptism of fire by you. Probably the last long ride was you. when we went out to um, oh, the cafe at... Oh, Horncastle. Yeah, yeah. that's the last big ride. Yeah. Oh, well, Way of the Roses was after that, I suppose. Was it? I can't remember. Yeah. But, so uh, Way of the Roses was probably the last yeah. big ride I've done. You've done well. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, we're not back yet. No, <laughs> don't remind me. So, yeah, well, well, we'll talk to you again in a bit. It's been a really eventful day. Warmington on sea. <laughs> we're doomed. We're doomed. Oh, there's Captain Mannering. You stupid boy. Oh, that's superb. They don't like it, have them. I'm on 97 miles now and I've got about another four miles to go home so we'll just break the 100 again. It's becoming a habit. I would normally take the Grantham Canal virtually all the way home but we've got a closure on the towpath so I'm going to have to detour. We've got a couple of families of swans that are nesting right next to the towpath. And they're very protective of their young, as you can imagine. And I've found the best thing to do is just ride past them. Don't make eye contact or anything, just, just go. They'll rear up a bit, but they don't bother you. But this chap didn't know that this morning. <laughs> as you can see, it was quite a performance. Well, I'm just about to click over the 100 miles. Uh, probably got about three miles to go. And the reason is that with the towpath closure, Sustrans have very kindly signposted an alternative. But that alternative takes me up the horrible 12% hill up into my village. And I thought at 90, 97 miles, it wasn't something I could really face today. So thought we'll go the longer way round. It's a bit of a busier road but so far so good people are being very sensible. So as I'm not far from home I'll bid you farewell. I think you'll agree it's been a, a pretty interesting day in more ways than one. 
So until next time, be safe and ride safely. <laughs>